Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to this lecture on Palo Alto Firewall. So today's um, topic would be firewall maintenance, which is an important part of the day-to-day -day activities of a security engineer. And in firewall maintenance, you have a lot of stuff that you need to do on a day-to-day basis. For example, taking backups and updating the firewall software or updating the individual app engines which can be app id uh, i mean the content id threat uh, applications virus database url filtering database global protect uh, dynamic updates so we will go through all the topics in this uh, lecture now to begin with i want to talk about the concept of running configuration and the candidate configuration so in palo alto there are two configurations which you need to be aware of so the first thing that you need to be aware of is the running config now the running uh, the running config is basically uh, the current config so let's talk about the running config so the running config is basically the current config which is in effect which is in effect or you can say which is which is active so this um, basically is in the data plane so because of this current config uh, if you make any changes to the current config the data plane will be affected and then there is another config which is called the candidate config now the candidate config is basically a configuration wherein you have made cha changes so now this is where you have you are working on the Palo Alto making some changes adding objects adding policy rules but this is not going to affect your data plane because this candidate config is basically is in your control plane now to push this to the uh, data plane or you can say to the running config you have to uh, enter a command which is the commit or you can even do this from the GUI as well so you have to press count commit button then only this candidate config will be pushed to your current config or you can say running config okay so and one more thing that i want to talk about is the how does this change take effect right so you need to know this so as i said this running config is basically uh in the data plane so this is the data plane and then you are um you can say the candidate config is basically in the control plane right but then if you talk about the control plane um what do you have in the candidate config is basically this uh, running config so this is your candidate config the orange one you can say it has the running config I'll say running config plus the candidate config. It has both the candidate config as well as the running config. So now when you press the, uh, I mean push the commit command, what happens is that these additional changes which are in the current config will be pushed to the running config and it will replace the running config. So that is the whole idea about the candidate config and the uh, running config. So I'll clear my board and and also I want to talk about the fact that the um, running config is basically saved as a XML file which is called running dot config 
dot xml so this is an xml format it's basically a dash running config dot xml file so you will see this running config in, is saved in a xml file and what about the candidate config the candidate config is saved in a file called so i'll take a different color this is also an xml format but this is called snapshot dot xml so this is the default file name which is saved for i mean taken for the candidate config as well as the running config so this is this was another information that i wanted you people to know so the next thing that i want to talk about is the backups so you will have uh, schedule backups or you might have to take a backup in an emergency so you should know what uh, option will have what backups in my Palo Alto firewall so if you talk about backups so you will have the running config as well as the candidate config but you will have options like the revert to last configuration last saved configuration and this exactly does the thing that it says so what will it do this will basically replace your current candidate config settings with the saved candidate config settings so that means if you have earlier saved a snapshot.xml, it will bring that to the current candidate config when you do this revert last saved configuration. The next that I want to talk about is the revert to running config. Revert to running. So it's double end config what this does this option this option basically replaces your current candidate configuration setting with the current running configuration so just understand the difference between last save configuration and to running configuration so you have your current candidate config where you have done some changes but now you think that those changes do doesn't need to be pushed right or accidentally if somebody commits it it will replace the running config so what you do you go there and you revert to the running config that means the running config which is in the data plane will be pulled to your candidate config will will which will basically um, i mean revert your candy candidate config back to oh, what it was before you started working on the candidate config right now next thing that next option you have is load and export so load and export is basically what it says it will load some uh, configs which you have already um, saved to your local pc or on the firewall and export is what you have saved on the firewall you can export it to a local device yeah and then also you have import and save now import and save does the same thing import means you have some xml files on your local machine you just import it to your your firewall you don't um, i mean actually apply it you just import it you just save it in the, in the local firewall and then save means you save some changes on the firewall okay hope that that is clear to you now let's go to the firewall and do some changes Okay, so I will HTTPS to my firewall, which is on 192.168.1.115. And then I will accept the notification, which says the certificate is not valid, understand. And then I will log into my Palo Alto with the default credentials of admin and admin at the rate. I mean, admin at the root 123 is the password that I changed, but by default you have admin and admin okay so i will log in to my firewall gui okay it doesn't accept that maybe i done did some mistake let's try once more and yeah i'm in now here what i want to 
check is the different um, different options that I have to um, save my configs. Yeah, that I was talking about. So let's go. Take some time, so you need to be patient. I'm running this um, on my VMware Workstation Pro. And this is basically a licensed firewall. You would have seen the licensing part um, before coming to this video. If not, you just go and see how to license a Palo Alto firewall in my previous video. So, okay. So I have the dashboard now. All the widgets are loading. The data is being collected. I just So now this is the notification of um, telling me about the changes that has been done in the Pan OS 10. I will just close this. Now from here, I need to go to the device tab, which is at the last. Remind me later. And I can see the software updates and the dynamic updates here. But right now we are not talking about that. What we want to see is the um, the set, uh, I mean, the configuration changes that we need to um, save or backup, right? Uh, or even load or import or export. So you can see all the options here, but it's taking some time to fetch the data. You can see the corner of the screen, which is just okay now. Now um, I'm in the device tab and the setup and then operations. So here you can see all these different options that you have for the configuration management. Now it says revert to last save configuration. That means you have a save configuration. You can revert to the, that configuration here. And then you have, this is where you, uh, I mean, uh, get the candidate configuration here. Then you have revert to running configuration. That means the running configuration will be uh, pulled and it will be replaced with by the, um, I mean, the current actually uh, candidate configuration will be replaced by the current running configuration. Uh, and then save name configuration snapshot, which is basically your candidate configuration. Uh, so you can just click here and then name, um, some name that you want to do, I mean, customize name. Uh, as I said, by default, the um, uh, I mean the candidate configuration is saved with the snapshot dot um, XML. Yeah, so I will say yes. This is a saved configuration. You can see the default snapshot dot XML. But if you want to name it different, you can just go to save named configuration snapshot, which which basically takes the same um, uh, backup of the candidate config, but with some different name that you want to. Um, that you would be easy for you to remember but then you have the load name configuration snapshot which is the opposite of saved i mean whatever you saved you can just load from here and then you have the load configuration version so you have configuration versions which you can load this these are like um, uh, the backups taken automatically by your firewall when you uh, i mean com commit some changes so you can see the timestamp here and the date so you can just go and revert to those configs. Then you have export your named configuration snapshot, whatever snapshot you have taken. Uh, but I don't have taken, I, ha I haven't taken anything. So uh, that ca you can export to your um, local PC or export configuration version or export device state. So this is the current device state that will be exported to um, a file and which you can save on your local PC and then you can um, again uh, import that device state from here right import a named configuration snapshot that you took from here so this these are all the options that you need to go uh, and do on daily basis yeah uh, so hope you understood all the options here and um, yeah that's all that uh, we have for the uh, configuration management part and on the right hand side you can see in the device operations, you have the reboot and shutdown options. And here you have some custom logos um, and the SNMP setup in the miscellaneous tab. So that was it for the uh, configuration management part. Now